Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD, allows you to manage networks across multiple sites. With CBD, you can easily monitor, control, and keep your networks up to date. If you use CBD to configure your wireless local area networks, WLANs, you'll be happy to know that with the latest CBD firmware update 2.5, there are some new beneficial options available for Cisco Business Wireless devices. These helpful features can be configured and monitored through CBD, as long as the WLANs were created through the CBD dashboard. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll do a quick review of previous wireless configuration options, as well as explain the new firmware, version 2.5, enhanced wireless features on Cisco Business Dashboard. I'll start with the network configuration of wireless LANs, beginning with the setup of a WLAN profile. This is an easy way to deploy wireless networks to a large number of access points on the network. You can edit an existing WLAN profile or add a new one. For example, I'll add a WLAN profile too and have it as part of my default organization. You'll need to decide what groups of devices this applies to. Here, you can specify the group of devices and move them over. You could add additional WLANs. I'll create a CBD test WLAN, specify what VLAN it's going to be on and what security it's going to be using. I'll select WPA2 and WPA3 Personal as it provides a more secure connection than earlier versions. Here, you can specify some advanced settings. Will you be broadcasting this SSID so your network is easy to find, or do you want to keep it hidden? Do you want visibility into applications being accessed? Are you looking at local profiling to see what types of clients are connected? And finally, what radios are broadcasting? Once everything is entered, hit save, and then save again. This would apply to the device groups you've applied it to. In this example, I don't have it applying to device groups, so right now, it's not pushing this out to all of my devices. I can change this at any time. If you go to Wireless Radios, you can set up Wireless Radio Profiles. This allows you to specify some overall radio settings for a group of devices or throughout your organization. From here, you can add a profile name. I'll call this my CBD profile. Specify the organization and the groups of devices that you're using. If you're on a live network, as is my case, I won't apply it to a group of systems yet because I don't want to kick people off of the network that are currently using it. I'll wait to do this once office hours are over. You can specify some settings here, such as enabling radio frequency, RF optimization. This can help your wireless network acquire a better signal when there are competing networks in the area. You'll note these settings look very similar to what you see on the web user interface of the Cisco Business Wireless CBW devices. If you have the older WAP models, they'll still work fine. They just don't have the additional features that are available on the CBW models. So specifically on your CBW devices, you can say if it is a low, medium, or high density network and specify the data types you're using for prioritization of data. You can have rogue AP detection enabled or disabled. If enabled, this feature detects devices that do not belong to your company. Do you want to have it detect causes of interference, like electromagnetic signals or other physical obstacles? If so, enable interference detection. Once you've made your selections, save your new settings. You may not want to apply it to all devices, but you can. This configuration option allows you to customize things on a sort of macro level to a large number of devices. You also now have the ability to customize settings on an access point by access point basis. These are some nice, simple, yet advanced configuration options. You can go to an individual access point and either pull it up by going into your organization, finding the access point and hitting the more button or Go to Inventory to find this particular device and pull it up through there. Once you're connected, you can find the dashboard with other information about this. You can go through and look at the wireless LANs and see the radio configurations. You can view the channel it's using to transmit power, the channel width, as well as the standard things you might want to customize. 
Now you can go in and make changes. For example, you could move this from channel 11 to channel 6 on the 2.4 GHz band. As you can see, there are no associated clients connected on the 2.4 GHz band on this AP, so you could save this and not worry about kicking anybody off the network. You can customize these radio channels, transmit power, and more. You have the ability to change things without having to connect to the web UI for each device or the web UI for the CBW primary AP on each network when customizing this. You simply go through and find these devices in your inventory list and tweak them as appropriate. There you have it, a quick overview of some of the helpful wireless settings that have been updated in CBD version 2.5. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.